Today, we have some sad news about the legendary singer Mojo Nixon. He has passed away at the age of 66. Let's get into the specifics. According to a Facebook statement from his family, Nixon, born Neil Kirby McMillan Jr., was discovered dead on Wednesday following a cardiac event while on the yearly Outlaw Country cruise. The previous evening, the musician gave a performance aboard the boat. On the yearly trip, he co-hosted and performed frequently. Mojo Nixon, how you live is how you should die. Mojo Nixon was full tilt, wide open rock hard, root hog, corner on two wheels plus on fire, wrote his family. Passing after a blazing show, a raging night, closing the bar, taking no prisoners plus a good breakfast with bandmates and friends. A cardiac event on the Outlaw Country Cruise is about right, and that's just how he did it, Mojo has left the building. The post continued. Since Elvis is everywhere, we know he was waiting for him in the alley out back. Heaven help us all, concluded the statement. The performer was born in North Carolina on the 2nd of August 1957. Although he was born and reared in Virginia, he joined the punk band Zebra 123 in Denver to start his musical career. He moved to San Diego and joined Dick Montana's band, The Snuggle Bunnies, after the punk band broke up. Skid Roper, also known as Richard Bank, became a member of the group. In the Battle of the Bands, the group went on to win Best New Band in San Diego. They also managed to secure a three-hour recording session at San Diego's Soundtrack Studio. Nixon and Roper soon signed a record deal with Enigma Records, which helped them release their first album, Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper, in 1985. Nixon's Bow Day Shoes album, which started with his popular song Elvis is Everywhere, was released two years later. Following the popularity of Elvis is Everywhere, which got him a spot on the Arsenio Hall show, the artist put out a number of albums with other partners like Jello Biafra and the Toad Lickers. Nixon started his acting career two years after Elvis is Everywhere became successful. In the 1989 Jerry Lee Lewis film Great Balls of Fire, he played James Van Eaton. Super Mario Bros. From 1993 and Car 54, Where Are You? From the following year were also listed in his credits. He later started hosting talks on the radio in San Diego, Ohio, and Cincinnati. He was hired by Sirius XM to host the Outlaw Country, music that won't be fenced in show in the early 2000s. Nixon is survived by his wife, Adair, and his sons, Rafe Cannonball and Reuben. May he rest in peace. We wish his family finds comfort and love during this difficult time. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more updates on what's happening with your favorite stars.